Thank you and welcome to uh, another video blog uh, from the Music Millionaires Club TK. I am uh, SG1 from the Peacemakers, and the uh, purpose of us doing this video is to help empower artists, producers, uh, songwriters, musicians, whatever you is or whatever you do in the music business. Uh, we want to empower you to have, or actually give you the power be able to do, produce, and be successful in the business and understand why uh, people like myself and my group are successful. <clears throat> uh, firstly, uh, just to put the credentials out so you guys know that we know what we're talking about. Uh, we're called the Peacemakers, we're songwriters, producers for such artists as Sean Kingston, DTP, Sharifa, currently uh, Dr. Dre uh, on the Detox, uh, via my brother Sly Piper. Uh, flow rider, the list goes on and on. Um, the purpose of this particular video, though, uh, is to establish, and I've been asked um, by, I guess, producers and um, different artists, uh, how do you make money selling beats at least enough to quit your job and to uh, pay your bills or, or become rich? Twenty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars a year um, so I'm gonna do the best that I can to answer that question uh, the second question which was can you teach it to be foolproof and the answer to that question is simply no uh, different type students learn different type ways I'm only here as a guide and as a teacher to help you make as much money as possible off your situation I don't know what your learning capacity is so I can't or might not be able to fully put this information in a way that benefits you the most to make it foolproof. So that will be the answer to that question. Uh, but what I will do is address the topic of uh, how do you make money from selling beats at least enough to uh, take care of your house or to stop working. Cause that's the American dream. That is anyone's dream. If it's not even about America, that's common sense. That's, that's people all over the world. Uh, uh, dream. We just get caught up in the whole American thing and, you know, label it as ours. But, um, anyway, um, let me first address why you aren't making money um, selling your tracks or your beats. And uh, the methods that you're using and the methods that I have seen and that, you know, everything, um, um, we are, we do what you guys do. We go a lot of times and we have different people that work with us or work for us that go and test these different sites and test different things out. That was the whole purpose of this concept of Music Millionaires Club. Um, because based on the plethora of uh, concepts and ideas and websites out there in the music business, we seen that there was only a few that worked. And the reason why only a few worked is because a lot of the information is coming from people who've never actually produced and never got their hands wet in the music business. Um, so that's one of the reasons why it's not working um, for you guys. Secondly, it's the methods that you're using, which would be um, the different websites. Um, there, are, there are a lot of um, websites out there promoting selling your tracks or selling your beats. And they're doing this and you're going there with the obvious um, uh, uh, anticipation or obvious uh, inkling of thinking that you're going to be able to sell a beat and make money off of it online. Um, the question or the answer would be why doesn't this work or the answer to the question why doesn't it work is very simple. The websites were designed to attract you. It worked. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what it was designed to do, to attract you to come there to upload your tracks and to sell beats. Um, and basically, that's what you did. You went to the website, you signed up, you uploaded your tracks, and then what they do is ask you and tell you the best way to make money by selling your beats is to go now and put their affiliate link or a link to your tracks back to them. So when you do make sales or you do see different producers selling their beats, basically you guys are selling the tracks. Um, and that's that's very simple, which is marketing. You marketed that website. Uh, but I'm you know I'm gonna get to that at the very end of this video. 
So the success that you do see other artists having is based on the artist marketing that website. But the website itself is designed for you. I won't uh, say any particular names. I'm not even knocking the websites at all um, because it's a start. Everything is a start. Everything is designed and the intention goes out. That's what I look at, your intentions. So if their intentions is to help you, then I can never say anything negative about that. But what I can say is because it's you as the artist or the producer, you have to use your real eyes. Um, and using your real eyes, you have to realize that it is designed to attract producers. And I said that again for a reason, because anytime you go to a website and you're battling against another producer, right, who's judging you? Is it the artists that are judging you? Or is it the producers that are judging you based on their production and what they know a tight track sounds like? So, you know, it's hard to be successful when you're trying to sell beats or tracks to a, a website full of producers. I'm not there as a producer to buy your track. I'm there to sell my track. Uh, hopefully I can get you so interested in me that you buy my track, but what's the odds of that going down? Um, and that's just being real. Um, so the, the websites online, and I'm, I'm only attacking the why you aren't being successful with selling your music. The websites online are not there um, to help you sell your music to artists. They're there to help you sell and give you a venue to be able to sell from. Basically, I'm giving you my website, I'm giving you my server to be able to sell to um, artists that should come to my website. Um, you're paying a monthly subscription because um, you want to be ranked higher. You want to put more songs up on my website, which will give you more of a chance to be able to sell the more songs you have or more tracks you have uploaded to my website, the more chances you have of um, selling a track. Now, that's very important that you remember that statement because I'm gonna go back to that later on when it comes to the numbers game, okay? But um, get to get back on point. So you wind up putting up a link to their site for your track on your MySpace page, your Facebook page, your Twitter page, uh, dig whatever you're using you wind up marketing their site for them um, so the sales that are being generated is being generated by the producer everything that I'm saying right now has a purpose and the purpose is so you can see the big picture at the end of all of this uh, which is why I'm putting these videos out and which is why our website will be about you and helping you uh, which you'll be helping us and that'll be true um, so you know um, uh, another question was basically presented to me, how do I feel about battles? I don't feel about the battles in no kind of way because what battling is and what you might not have realized is yeah, we as men and, and, and as a human species have an ego. So to be able to conquer and divide gets you caught up in the whole battle thing. You know, you're battling against another producer for top ranking and top spots, but that's exactly what you're doing. You're battling in hopes that you get higher ranked for the, the those who are coming to the website to see you on the top of the website. In other words, you're battling to be on the front page of the website. Um, but in order to get to that battle, you gotta pay more money, right? Okay, so you're paying more money to get more songs uploaded to the website so that you can battle more and have more of a chance to get higher rankings. This is plain and simple to me. I, you know, I just, I see it for what it is. So, the purpose should be, if I pay you money, there should be an avenue that you have in place for me to be able to benefit out of my money's being paid, which will be, uh, to me, uh, a mirror site, what we call um, uh, a mirror website. In other words, if I go to you and you say, sell uh, your tracks over here to me.